People came to my studio and were like, you can't make these. Women don't paint women. Women don't paint nudes. It was just like, no, no. And I said, I just love this so much. I came from a working class family. My father drove a truck. You know, for me, the opportunity to make art was magical as opposed to doing manual labor, which is what other people in my family did. Plumbers, policemen, you know, jobs that were difficult. And then when I got into my dream school, Yale, and I had a bit of a, an emotional collapse. My first show, it was a voice of a timid student that I walked into the exhibition and opening, you have your nice outfit. I said, this is the worst work I've ever seen. I wanted to leave the room, <laughs> like say, everybody go home, this is a mistake. Um, but you can't do that. I stopped painting and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I took that inwardness and then returned many years later to make more bravura, large um, paintings the way I did pre-Innocent, the gifts, that was my breakthrough painting, um, and then the bad baby paintings. Kathy, my best friend from my childhood, we used to smoke cigarettes together. We'd buy cigarettes. We were really bad. We were bad girls. When I was a very little girl, Kathy was the most beautiful girl in school. And I, you know, was, you know, the, the friend of the beautiful girl in school. When I wanted to move the work forward rather than just paint yet a new subject, I chose her because I was inventing all the figures and they were blonde. They were obviously these kind of very sympathetic and they seemed a little beaten up a little bit uh, by life. The light in my paintings is almost always loving and the color is sometimes cruel. It creates an emotional space that we'll remember. Sometimes the pose is mean-spirited and sometimes it's, you know, worse than that. Many people think that Every work is based on either a penthouse or a clay maquette or my friend Kathy or imagination. And I say, well, it just obviously constantly changes. Once you've created the actor, then you can try putting them in these different situations. Like I think that the landscapes or the interiors or the striped socks or any of the features that appear in the work, they are all characters. The paint is a character that is speaking. I'm not trying to make chocolate chip cookies for everyone to feel very happy. It's not about bringing that kind of low-level satisfaction. I don't know, it's like when you're a kid and you taste like smoked salmon or taste coffee or smoke a cigarette or something and you're just, ugh, it's terrible. And then later you get obsessed with the flavor and then they can't get enough.